What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the two amigos. We make the three amigos. We're here back for another exciting video. Hopefully it's exciting and hopefully you're tuning in longer than this intro. But we're here at the largest official Bond car display right here at the Peterson Museum off of Fairfax and Wilshire, that is. Wilshire. 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 Anyway, we're here. Oh, and also, wait, hold up. Suki's also here. She's allowed to be here because she's a service dog, right, Louis? Yeah, so that makes us three and a half of me, though. What he said. Anyway, let's go inside. Bam. So as I said at the beginning of the video, we're here to check out the James Bond exhibit at the Peterson Museum. I was pretty young when the first James Bond came out, but I did catch the films growing up. Loved them so much. And we're here to check out the vehicles that were featured in the feature films. So right now we're looking at the Ashton Martin 1964. I was not in creation when this car came out, but I know a guy that was, and he probably could tell you little more about it than I could. This is the 1964 Aston Martin DBS that was used in the James Bond films. It has a metal uh, shield that pops up in the back. It also has rotating license plates and can eject a oil slick and like these spike jack things that will pop your tires. Uh, it has machine guns in the front. It had it actually had an ejector seat. I don't know if this particular one did, but there was one that had a sunroof and an ejector seat. So if you didn't like your passenger, bye-bye, ejected. <laughs> and I really don't know a whole lot, but I do love Bond, James Bond. So this right here is the Kawasaki Bell helicopter scale model. If you look inside, they have the little miniature humans all burnt up kept them in there so this might be the real thing the actual model that they used in the film don't quote me might not be 100% correct but it looks like it to me and yeah as I said before these films did come out some time ago but the actual preservation of the props used the vehicles used underwater vehicles used all have been preserved very well so sorry that the video doesn't do it justice and I'm not spending too much time on everything there's so much to see especially if you're a James Bond fan every car seems to be on display from every single film and preserved very well in my opinion So this is my favorite Bond car of all time. I saw it as a kid, saw the movie as a kid. It's called The Spy Who Loved Me. It came out in 1977. I wasn't born yet, but you know, due to reruns on television, you get to catch the movies. But this was my favorite movie, favorite car out of this movie because it can go on land, it can go in water. It was like, like futuristic and it kind of looks like the DeLorean, just a little bit. Gliders, planes, helicopters, so much to look at. So we're just gonna do a brief walkthrough. I'll probably try to show you everything I can. Sorry if I don't get every name and everything that we're looking at, but... The we're, we're going to go check it out. Old school for sure. 
German made. My German accent is terrible. Alright, so this car right here is the Ashton Martin from 1987's The Living Daylights. And guess what? With this one, you can actually go skiing. A car that skis? think this is amazing because it has a world record in tumbles it's in the guinness book of world records for most tumbles ever done so i think a car should look like this after it was all demolished in the scene and look at the horrific damage to the boot area of this vehicle it is awful that they would do that to a lovely austin martin like that indubitably despicable If you see, they got some bullet holes in here. So somebody must have shot the car. That's from my perspective. That's all I can say. Well, from my assessment, it looks like someone was definitely trying to get rid of Bond, but uh, Never no luck to get rid of him because it's actually his film, so you can't get rid of Bond. Otherwise, what would, what would you call the film? What would you call the film, Louis? They killed Ned Stark in Game of Thrones. No spoiler alert, James Bond was killed in the in last, last movie. One.